Hi, in this video, I will share with you how to copy and paste, right? So, the vendor invoice, right? This, this four rows, the names, the combination value are the same, right? So, I want to do a final report, something like this, right? So, uh, there's reference number here, so it will be 925. Uh, and then here, because this is the first four, right? So, these are the units. These are duplicate, so I want just one value here, and after that, comma 996. So I do this right repeatedly for every combination of vendor invoice, right? So vendor invoice, right? And then have this. So as I put this one, right, will be this. And here is 871, so it's just only one value, right, for this combination row. Right, so, um, but I have a lot, right? So I can't do it one by one. So how to do that, right? Well, uh, Excel's come up with this new feature, right? It's called Power Query. Let's see how it works. So I'm just going to uh, go to the data tab. First, turn this into an Excel table and go to this button. Okay, and then uh, what we do is that we group these two together, choose group by. So you can see this is vendors and this is invoice, right? They only group if the two well, they are the same, right? So, and then next is that I want the uh, whole data, right? The details of the, of this reference so I want the all rows, right? I give them a name called details, right? This this new column is called details. In a short, you'll know what it means. So you can see that this is details, right? And then in each of these details column, right? It is a table. This is a table for vendor. The first column is vendor. Second is invoice and the reference, right? So basically, this is the value. This is the value for the uh, for for the four rows that they have the same vendors and invoice ID, right? And this is the thing. So I, what if I want to just get the reference table? Uh, no problem, right? Now you just change this, right? Change this, um, because I want the details in these two columns, right? I only want the reference table, right? So, uh, one way to do that is that I can also call add another column let's see if that works right so I just want to say a uh, table dot column right see if I can get that also details then um, I got uh, the reference the reference column from this just the reference column from the from this detail column right so this is the inner table for the reference, the outer table, we want the details, right? So let's see what works. Okay, so it, it appears that it, it gives us a release, right? See, it, it has a lease, but I don't want this, um, I don't want this, uh, to be, um, I want the value to be unique, right? How do I do that, right? Um, I want to see whether there is a transform, right? That can go for unique, right? So I'm gonna change that right. Um, maybe in the home, is a unique value. Remove rows, no. Yeah, maybe remove duplicate. No, can't right because this is the inner items right. So we gotta do something here. So maybe I can go for add another column, right? And I go for uh, list dot this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna change that to list dot this thing, and then um, I want this column here, right? So list dot this thing, like click OK. Okay, so basically I have this list, and now I become this list, right? So I think about that. I click on this, see whether I can extract this value to become a comma. Click OK. Uh, well, basically I. Get it done, right? So, um, I just change this to value, 
close it, remove the column. Okay, so this is what I finally want. Okay, and that's it, right? Uh, so finally, it's just home, close and load to, that's it. And thanks for watching.